For over 2,000 years, it lay in silence beneath the sea. A machine so advanced, it shouldn't have existed. A device of bronze and gears, capable of tracking the planets, predicting eclipses, and modeling the heavens themselves. Built centuries before the first mechanical clocks. Some call it the world's first computer. Others believe it's proof that ancient civilizations achieved technologies long thought impossible. But new research reveals something even stranger, that this mysterious mechanism may never have truly worked at all. This is the story of the Antikythera mechanism and the discoveries that could rewrite everything we thought we knew about the ancient world. In the spring of 1901, a group of Greek sponge divers braved a storm off the tiny island of Antikythera. At a depth of nearly 150 feet, they stumbled upon the remains of a massive ancient shipwreck, a time capsule from over 2,000 years ago. Among marble statues, amphorae, and jewelry lay a small corroded lump of bronze and wood. At first, it seemed worthless, but buried within that lump was a mystery that would baffle scientists for more than a century. When the artifacts reached the National Archaeological Museum in Athens, one archaeologist, Valerios Stais, noticed something odd. Beneath layers of corrosion, he saw a tiny gear wheel, a gear from the ancient world. The idea was dismissed. Impossible, said his colleagues. Such technology didn't appear until over a thousand years later. And so, for decades, the strange object sat in silence forgotten in a display case. Half a century later, curiosity revived. In the 1950s and later in the 1970s, British physicist Derek de Sola Price used X-ray imaging to peer inside the fragments. What he discovered was revolutionary, a complex system of bronze gears precisely interlocked. Price called it the world's first analog computer. His analysis revealed that the mechanism could predict eclipses, track lunar and solar cycles, and even model planetary motion. It was a machine of impossible sophistication, built in an age that shouldn't have known how. But Price also knew his reconstruction was incomplete. Many gears were missing, the inscriptions were faint, and corrosion had erased entire sections. The Antikythera mechanism still held its secrets. At the dawn of the 21st century, technology finally caught up. Using CT scans and 3D imaging, researchers could now look inside the fragments with unprecedented precision. Hidden inscriptions emerged, tiny Greek characters describing celestial cycles and mathematical ratios. The words were not decorative, they were instructions. Piece by piece, a picture formed. This was no ornament. It was a mechanical model of the cosmos. By turning a small hand crank, the user could move the planets and moon across the zodiac. The back dials displayed the metonic and sorrow cycles, aligning solar and lunar calendars and predicting eclipses years in advance. In 2021, a team from University College London built a full digital reconstruction proving the mechanism could, in theory, track all five visible planets – Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. It was a portable universe, built centuries before its time. Then came the 2016 revelation. One of the rear dials appeared to have 354 or 355 divisions matching the Greek lunar calendar. This meant the mechanism didn't just follow the Sun, it synchronized lunar and solar time, a level of precision that demanded extraordinary skill. In 2024, researchers studying newly imaged fragments proposed refinements to the zodiac dial, suggesting it included subdivisions for months and seasons. Others focused on the so-called draconic cycle, the motion of the moon's nodes, vital for eclipse prediction. Their work implied that the mechanism could not only tell when eclipses would occur, but where in the sky they would appear. 
Each discovery deepened the mystery. How could this technology have existed in the 2nd century BCE? And then, in April 2025, a new theory emerged, one that turned the mystery on its head. A team of Argentinian scientists built a computer simulation of the Antikythera mechanism, but this time they added something most reconstructions had ignored, its imperfections. They modeled the triangle-shaped gear teeth, the uneven spacing, and the minor errors that came from handcrafting the gears over 2,000 years ago. What they found was startling. When the mechanism was cranked forward, it worked, but only for a short while. After about four months of simulated motion, the gears jammed or disengaged. The entire system froze. The researchers concluded that the device may have required frequent resets, almost like a mechanical watch that needs rewinding. Or, as one scientist put it, like a printer that keeps jamming every few pages. This led to a provocative question. Was the Antikythera mechanism truly a precision computer? Or just a complex toy? Perhaps it was an educational model built to demonstrate the structure of the heavens to students or patrons? Or maybe it was a display piece, a marvel of craftsmanship designed to inspire awe, not accuracy. But even that theory feels incomplete. Why would ancient engineers carve inscriptions, cut dozens of gears, and create a system capable of representing planetary motion, only to make a toy? The team behind the study proposed one more explanation. Maybe the flaws aren't ancient at all. 2,000 years of corrosion can warp even the finest bronze. If the teeth were distorted, or the metal expanded under pressure, our modern measurements could be slightly wrong. And that tiny difference could turn a perfectly working machine into one that appears broken. If that's true, then the original Antikythera mechanism might have worked flawlessly. Its jamming could be nothing more than an illusion, the result of time and decay. Either way, the study revealed one undeniable truth. The Antikythera mechanism sits at the peak of ancient engineering. The boundary between science and mystery, between logic and legend. To some, it represents proof that the ancients possessed lost technologies, knowledge that disappeared with the fall of great civilizations. Perhaps it was part of a greater network of ideas, from the Nebra sky disk of Bronze Age Europe, which mapped the heavens on metal, to the Roman dodecahedrons, whose purpose still defies explanation. Across the ancient world, we find hints of genius, fragments of a forgotten scientific heritage. The Library of Alexandria once held scrolls on mechanics, astronomy, and mathematics, knowledge that may have described machines like this one, lost forever to fire and conquest. Could the Antikythera mechanism have been one of those inventions preserved by chance while thousands of others vanished? Even today, divers continue to explore the Antikythera shipwreck, searching for missing fragments, perhaps even a second mechanism. Until that day comes, the device remains silent, its bronze gears locked by time. Whether it was a working computer, an educational model, or a misunderstood relic, the Antikythera mechanism forces us to confront an uncomfortable truth that human brilliance is not bound by time. Civilizations rise, fall, and are forgotten. But genius endures, waiting sometimes to be rediscovered. So as we look deeper into the seas and further into the past, we must ask ourselves, how much knowledge have we truly lost? And how much of it is still waiting to be found? The Antikythera mechanism is more than an artifact. It's a message, one written in bronze and time, reminding us that the greatest mysteries of humanity are not just about where we're going, but about what we've already forgotten. What do you think the Antikythera mechanism really was? A computer, a teaching tool, or something we still can't explain? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one. And if you enjoyed uncovering this mystery, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with others who love ancient secrets and lost history. Because the more we explore together, the closer we get to the truth.